Buying the Connecticut property was an incredible shift for my grandparents. To actually own his own property had a dramatic effect. So in 1933, when they bought the farm, he spent most of the year repairing the place and making it livable. By 1934, he was very inspired to use the outdoors, his own property, to make sculpture outside. In our exhibition, we have one of the first pieces, which is a tripod base, which are these rods that you push into the soft soil, giving rigidity to the tetrahedron shape of the base, and then the mobile moves on that point. It's fantastic to present it, and I think Somerset is a wonderful place to present it. Beyond the exhibition galleries of beautiful works of art, there's this tremendous installation we've devised of household works. I say works because they're not works of art, but yet they're works of intriguing significance. I'll give you an example. So this was a cheap Mexican goblet wine glass with a stem, and the stem broke off in a party and instead of throwing it away, he repurposed it and turned it into a dinner bell, which is an amazing thing. And it was actually used. I mean, they used it all the time. You know, these weren't special occasions. This was just how they lived. This toaster, he made this toaster because he needed a toaster. He could have bought a toaster, but he made a toaster. In fact, he made five toasters, and each one's unique. A lot of people don't know that Calder made all of these domestic things and made furniture and made fabric designs and wallpaper, or that he even was a painter. 